For only 200,000 shillings, John Mudeh's life was to have been terminated. A man whose wife, Faith Wairimo, claims has been violent and irresponsible. But thanks to a police informer who was to seal the deal, but instead reported the matter to officers in charge of the flying squad unit. According to the prosecution, the police post as gangsters and were given 40,000 shillings as down payment, with a balance of 160,000 shillings to be paid upon completion of the deal. Wairimo pleaded guilty to the charges while pointing an accusing finger at her husband, whom she claims is violent and has neglected his obligations to the family. The court is expected to sentence her on the 28th of this month. <laughs> Meanwhile, Alexander Gungu was today a happy man after the High Court awarded him 200,000 shillings for the humiliation he underwent in the hands of police. Alexander, who suffers from gender disorder, was accompanied by Audrey Mbugwa. Alexander had argued that he is a man who feels more of a woman. He claims that the officers in Makongeni police station stripped him naked to ascertain his sex and humiliated him by parading him in front of the media and the public. Okay, we need to go home. And at the Kiambu local, three men want the court to stop the decision by Kiambu Governor William Kabogo and Kiambu County Assembly that rejected their nomination to serve chairman and members of the Kiambu County Government a Public Service Board. Through their lawyer, Philip Nyachoti, the three argue that the decision to reject their nomination was tantamount to discrimination. Hey.